I pulled out top and bottom panel. Here's my hardware box. Here's my sides. Here's my base frame. Let's be nice with that. Our door, same story. And here is our back. side, pull up the face frame, take our wood glue, put a nice bead in the dado, it's not too thick so we don't drip a lot. Usually we go for about a quarter inch bead. We're going to open our hardware. We have two hinges for this wall cabinet. We have a bag full of hardware. We have clips that are gonna help us put our cabinet together. We have backing screws, the black ones. And it's important here to pick out your hinge screws. Those are the longer pan heads. And now we're left with two screws. We have countersunk and short pan head to attach clips to our face frame. Now I'm going to find my side, side panels. I'm going to run a bead of glue in the smaller dado here. I'm going to place it in the dado that runs all the way across the face frame. It'll only fit in one. I'm going to attach with short pan head screws again. Be the process for the other side. And now we can do top and bottom panels. Now on these, it's important to make sure they seat correctly into the dado. Should they have a gap, just like so, so that your back panel will fit on nicely. And here's our back panel. Insert, make sure back panel the tongue goes into the dado. I'm going to grab my black backing screws. I'm going to square up that joint right there and fasten. I'm going to grab three clips. I'm going to grab my pan head screws and I'm going to place these clips side to top panel and back to top panel. Side again. And flip it over. Ricky. All right. Two hinges, two longer pan head screws. We're going to take our hinge, take our drill, go through the hinge into the pre drill hole of the face frame. pan and screw through the hinge into the pre-drilled hole in the face frame. So now we can put the door on, hang it on the hinges, and we take our countersunk flathead screw. Finally, door bumpers. Voila.